good morning everybody respected academicians participants audiences and all the august gathering who is present over here first of all it is indeed my pleasure to be a part of this conference and uh, i thank grabs and tamil nadu association for intellectuals and uh, uh, faculty being the last speaker it is very difficult reason is whatever thoughts are given previously if i try to say anything it amounts to plagiarism so you people are putting me in plagiarism soup i don't know why actually it was very difficult for me to come all the way from hyderabad and not only that i am very sorry i could not make any present, ppt presentation because i was doubtful whether i will come and attend or not anyway i would like to just share a few of my personal experiences related to this uh, good academic practices which we have to follow we can say that research has taken leaps and bounds especially after 2005 reason is after the development of technology right tremendous amount of research work has been carried out because before there was nothing li literature was not available even if it was available also it was not available at the hands of all the people therefore now everything has become actually we should say thanks to technology advancement and we should also say no thanks to technology advancement because it has made our life very easy and at the same time it has made our life very difficult also how can it how can we say it is easy and how can we say it is difficult please remember now at present uh, we don't require any type of education for even a 3 years child in order to operate a cell phone because he knows everything now similarly after the advancement of technology and availability of total material please remember there is no proper quality contribution to research again i'm saying this is my personal thought as a professor whatever i have uh, seen through all this 15 years i'm saying it is not 100% but i'm saying at least 80% reason is people are doing research just for the sake of fulfilling the requirements that's the point you have to write your phd or pre phd examination you are supposed to write two articles so you are writing those two papers publication for fulfilling the norms that's all nothing like you wanted to sincerely seriously or you wanted to very sincerely contribute to something why are you writing is there any identification of some problem or you want to contribute to something very sorry to say this is my title therefore i wanted to write two articles on my title is it of your interest no it is my title i have to fulfill the requirement so this is the this is a way how people are contributing to research that is the reason why please remember it has become very difficult also and it has become very very easy also if we we have seen so many people all almost eight speakers giving so much amount of information research as far as i am concerned it is searching search researching that means people have already searched for that and you are trying to search something which is new or different or which is not uh, uh, searched by those people that is only called as research right so over here what we are trying to do is we are we have to compulsorily see what is not contributed by others in order to prove that our particular contribution is a quality contribution how far we are doing how far we are not doing that is up to us being senior people and all naturally we say that we have to that means saying is very very easy for us but when it comes to practicing and all saying 10% practicing people are almost 90% these people are the people who wanted to just fulfill certain requirements so naturally in order to just go to the next level right they have to compulsorily contribute something therefore we are getting a lot of stuff which is not at all related to quality aspect here advancement of technology has given us so much of ideas people are forgetting that a computer is a machine 
we know a computer as a definition, we say computer is a machine. So machine will definitely not have any type of thoughts or feelings or anything like that. We use so many different type of paraphrasing tools. We use so many different type of uh, grammarly, grammar checking, spelling checking and all. But we just use them and we think that the computer has done everything perfectly. But here, please remember, after using it also, we have to compulsorily check whether the total sentences are correct, whether the grammar is correct, whether the framing of the lines are correct, and then only it will be possible for us to give total contribution towards good research. My dear friends, I would like to give a few of my instances, which personal instances, experiences. Recently, even in Hyderabad, now at present for PG students, I am principal for MB and MCA college, and uh, even for PG students also, the two more topmost universities in Telangana, Usmania University and uh, Jawaharlal JNTU, these two universities have also introduced that for MBA projects and MCA projects also, the plagiarism level should be below 20%. So it has become even more difficult for the students. So there was one student who brought his project and then after getting the project, it was almost 80 to 90% plagiarism. It was rejected. We gave it back to him. And then he went back and then he came back after three days. And then when we checked it, it was totally 90% plagiarism free. We thought, what is this particular type of miracle which he has done? Then me and my friend, we sat with him and we were asking him, what is the miracle you have done so that that particular trick we are going to share it with others and not only with others, even when we write our own articles also, right, we have to compulsorily know that, uh, that means it is not going to give us extra amount of efforts which are required, right. So that fellow was very much reluctant to give us any type of information related to the miracle which he has used, right. And then we, we know that that fellow's capability is not that much. So we were constantly trying to find out what is the trick which he has played. To our shock, what trick he has used is, after every word, he has written one, 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 and then he has made it white color, so it is not visible. Naturally, I told you just now, let it be any type of uh, plagiarism checker. It is done by the computer. Naturally, a computer is a machine, Therefore, it has taken into consideration even that one and it has said that it is totally 90% plagiarism free, right? There was another student where he has mixed all the words together and when all the words are mixed together after checking, right, when he gets a plagiarism report, then he wanted to again uh, separate the words and submit the new copy, right? So over there that fellow also has got a solution. Please remember all these particular solutions are not going to contribute for good research practices. Therefore, my dear audiences, it is very important. I am very happy that uh, this particular program has been conducted over here and most of the people have talked, they have given their views related to how to contribute to the good academic practices because at present, these academic practices are going to either make the nation or break the nation. Therefore, here, it is very important for us to encourage quality, encourage. Actually, before conducting a particular type of research, it is very important for a person to know what are the norms for it, how to do about it. That is very important. It should be compulsorily included in the curriculum. I think uh, research methodology is included in the curriculum, but how to do research is not included in the curriculum. And if it is, that is included, then definitely most of them, if not 100%, at least 80 or 70 or 50% of the people will be knowing some important norms and rules, regulations. So that, that should be taken care by the universities to, that, that is one of the ways to encourage good quality research. Right? Every problem, a problem has 100 solutions. Actually, before, if you try to take uh, about some 20 years back, there were certain foods and all where we used to think that how they are prepared. Like uh, one of my colleagues was just not talking about biryani and all. Hyderabad is very famous for Hyderabad biryani. 
right but please remember that biryani we can try to prepare only by the hotel that's all we in the house it is not possible for us to prepare so if you want to have that uh, sumptuous food you are supposed to go to the hotel and pay that 200 or 150 or whatever it is and then why because that is a miracle food why because we cannot prepare but now please remember thanks to youtube everybody has become a world class chef that's what technology is either making us or breaking us therefore things have become much more easier when things have become much more easier please remember most of the research work which is being conducted are copy and paste only that's what i was saying copy paste and then give it for some paraphrasing tools grammarly tools spell checking tools and then we think away that it is going to uh, be our own uh, contribution towards that particular article and why are we contributing that article because it is a norm or it is a requirement not 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 for our uh, what you call a building or our uh, uh, career development or something like that yes if you have 25 articles it is our career development only but all 25 of them are in similar fashion because one of my friend again was again i'm doing plagiarism only because i'm the last speaker right so has said uh, for assistant professor you require a certain number of articles for uh, associate certain number and if you want to become a professor a certain number therefore naturally we have to fulfill if you wanted to upgrade yourself so if you try to copy from one person it was recently i heard it from ram gopal verma one day, film director he was saying in uh, instagram copying from one person amounts to plagiarism but if you copy from many it is nothing but a research right? okay so i would like to end the session thanks everybody thank you very much and uh, uh, I once again thank the organizers for inviting me and giving me this opportunity and all the audiences for patiently hearing me. Thank you.